on roots day, I wanted to check my turnips that I transplanted last week, or maybe it was the week before, um, because there seems to be quite a lot of little holes in these turnips. Now, I don't think there's any more flea beetle around, and I've got them in this veggie pod. They are growing, they're doing very well, and so every day I've been lifting this veggie pod lid and looking underneath for signs of, I don't know, slugs. I'm pretty sure this veggie pod doesn't have slugs in it because this is my newest veggie pod and this is the newest soil or compost in here. And today I have found the culprit. I'm going to sacrifice a leaf and just show you all. Now, I hope you can see this. Can you see in there? Look at it. Caterpillars. That's what it is. Caterpillars. And of course, caterpillars love brassicas and turnips are from the brassica family. So now I go through all my turnips here and I see where the little culprits are. It's probably a good idea because if you even kept these under cover, like one year I had them in the greenhouse and I thought it was fine, but the greenhouse door was open and of course the butterflies get in there and you end up having um, caterpillars. So I quite, I find this quite therapeutic actually to go through all of the these brassicas and I know in the big veggie pod behind me on my radish I've got caterpillars as well so I go in there every day and I just sift through and even if I just find one I'm very happy so if you've got your brassicas out keep an eye on things everybody because these caterpillars they're quite incredible hmm so on Flowers Day, um, it's given me a really good opportunity to get to grips with this woolly aphid that I've got or this cabbage aphid that I've got. And this bed here in front of me are my cauliflowers. The ones that have done really badly are these purple ones that I was trying out that I've mentioned before. Um, and they're called uh, Violetta or something like that. Um, so I have got two in particular that I'm going to pull out and I, let's I may as well do it now while I'm here okay so this is what happens when you get woolly aphid on brassicas really early that's the state of it so woolly aphid or cabbage aphid is this see on there all on there it's this kind of, um, well, it's woolly. It's grey, it's awful. It has a coating over the top of it. It's not kind of like your normal green aphid. It's really difficult to get rid of. Um, I sprayed with um, some of this uh, bio spray, bio concentrate sp spray, but it doesn't really permeate into it. So this is meant to be a cauliflower. And as you can see, it's not a cauliflower. It's not looking good at all. Um, I only really have, I would say, two and a half of the purple ones that are good. So thank goodness I have sewed um, some uh, more purple ones. And this time I've gone back to sewing my favourite, which is graffiti. So they're going to go in here when they're ready. The other cauliflowers that I've got in here are, I have six called igloo. Um, I got to these quite early actually with the woolly aphid. So here is a little cauliflower here and that's a little bit early for this one but it doesn't really matter. There's a tiny little bit of damage on top and it looks like it's a caterpillar so I'm going to have to go hunting. The rest of them are forming quite nicely actually. There's a little bit of white fly but it's not too bad. So I was debating whether I would take this mesh off um, and I'm not. I'll leave the mesh on it. I've done a really good weed in here and they should be fine actually as long as this hot this warm weather doesn't really continue because I think that's why this is all ha this is happening. Um, so fingers crossed. Yes, flowers day. Weeding and maintenance. So for leaves day on the moon phase calendar, I am going to be sowing something and that is spinach. 
and I've just sewed a tray 60 cells with two seeds per tray um, of this spinach called Rubino and this is the one that has the red um, markings in the center the red veins there it's kind of um, taken over from red kitten I used to grow a lot of red kitten and I really enjoyed that but I'm going to try this one actually um, so that um, spinach is going to be my spring spinach it will grow nice and slowly over winter uh, but I won't really get anything substantial from it until the spring the winter spinach I use is giant winter now I sewed a tray of these and I'm going to have to sew another tray because I want you to have a look at this. They look absolutely shocking. I sewed these on the 2nd of September. I had them outside, they germinated outside on a stand outside my emerald greenhouse and um, they started really well and then they got leaf miner. I have had such a problem this year with leaf miner. It's all over my chard here at home. Funnily enough, I don't have leaf miner on the allotment. Hmm, makes me think I should be growing these over there. Um, so I am going to grow, an, I'm not going to sow another tray just to be sure. These ones I am going to put in the garden because um, if I look at the uh, root structure on them, they're actually not bad so I'm hoping that if I put it into the garden and and put them out there they will actually start to get going if they don't I will have another tray um, so if you're looking at your trays this time of year make sure you check underneath them because you will be surprised at there it is there's one how many little snails and slugs and all kind of creepy crawlies are underneath these trays and they will finish off your leafy greens very very quickly so i'm just going to sow like i said two seeds per tray per cell and then i've got 60 here so i'll have 120 all together um, so let's do that and uh, then i will tra be transplanting some stuff out as well So another thing I'm doing is I am harvesting my calabrese again and <laughs> look at all the white fly. <laughs> it's like snow. Um, so as you can see I harvested from the middle that was the main head and now have a look at these. I've got three extras here. I've got another lot coming on this one here. See I harvested the head and they're decent size florets. So that's what you do when you get broccoli and calabrese is you just harvest the middle and then wait because you will get a second flush of um, florets, which is my dinner tonight. <laughs> 